Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play Total War Warhammer 2! Playing the new VLC character. It's a uh, unique experience to turn all armies. A bit of frost a rate of resilience. Unbreakable for swords and table guards. Charge fence. I'm not really feeling like we need any of them yet. I don't know where that little dude went off to. See, uh, this, I've ranked up here again. I want, don't want to waste points, but I want to get down this tree, and I'm going to need that sooner or later. And we'll keep going down the skirmishers for now. Then we'll go down sacred guardians. Then we'll get the ones here that are required. Plus, we want to get any of these that are appropriate at that point in time. I really want honor, Elder. I think we'll start moving you down this way. And I think here we'll recruit a lord. Oh, there's Croxagore Ancients now. They're new. Completely new. And the Red Crested Skink Chief. Then you've got the Saurus Old Blood. I think we're going to go for the Croxagore Ancient. We've not had one of them. Leadership melee attack. All units in the army. That's quite good. Let's try the Croxagore Ancient. I'm guessing he'll be a really beastly lord. Let's take a look at his tree because we've not seen this before. I'm guessing he's got buffs to Croxagores in here somewhere. Yeah, so he's got the usual buff to everyone tree here. And I'm guessing he's got buffs to Croxagores here somewhere. Meat shield, Fisker and Croxagores, the sacred Croxagores units. Melee strength. Oh my word, this guy leading an army of Croxagores with a uh, Sacred Guardians maxed out. So they've got 8 melee attack and melee defense buff. Then they've got 10 physical resistance. Then they've got 10 weapon strength and well, that's 16 melee attack bonus. He is going to make them extremely powerful. So yeah, he's quite a nice little lord. Stick him in there, plus he'll be really powerful just on his own. So let's take a look at my army stuff here. I want to leave that slot free. We're getting the more gold coming. Let's see. Recruit you a couple of Saurus with spears, just in case. Turn population surplus. He's away on through. I take it he's going straight after pestilence. Is that not pestilence right below me? Ah, it's them. Pestilence. Ah, I just seen the green and assumed pestilence had moved that far north already. But they have not, so that is very happy days. Uh -huh. Mission successful. Plus 500 to my treasury. Research the technology. Make sure that one of the following. Let the gamers begin. Happy populace. Yay! So we've now got our first technology. Oh, and buffs for Masaurus. Buffs for Masaurus. Happy days. Happy days. Buffs for Masaurus. Buffs for Masaurus. Let's get another couple of them, one of them. We'll start swapping out the old units soon. I think he should be fine holding this here. Because I don't know where that guy went and if he was able to recruit more units. And I don't even know if he's got this land here as well. I'm guessing he owns this land here as well. Right, off he goes. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna miss having the giant guy round. Can it give me a sense of security? Right. The vampire coasts have been dis, ex, uh, dis spawned, found. 
Words. Found. Discovered. So if I just use half my movement this turn, come over and I can see he's got an army there just like last time. I'm going to encamp myself because that's going to give me replenishment. And yes, 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 yes. How much money have we got? Not too much actually. Don't want to get that there. And the last thing I can get here is this unique building. So, guess and that can wait though, because that's not getting us money. And we'll get that first. That's all our monies. Oh, negative four, we're still. We need more public order here. Let's take a look at that negative four. How much is it going to disappear? Buildings, military presence, difficulty level, corruption, taxes, province of stability. So the instability will disappear, and the corruption should start disappearing as soon as I've wiped out the Skaven. Plus two. I should have used that actually to tell that there was more Skaven here. And let's see if the strategy works again. Attacking the army, the rest come out to reinforce. Happy days, easy win, jobs. Jobs, your uncle? Bob's your uncle. Oh, and Lord Croak, ranking up, ranking up. Let's get... Oh. Winds of Magic Power Reserves. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. We attack that army. He is getting reinforcements. It is slightly in their favour this time. So I think we're going to have to fight this one on the battlefield map. Alright, so let's fight it. Fight! He's getting a lot of reinforcements. I'm going to have to try and clump them up quite well and then use Lord Croak to nick those units. I'm mainly worried about their number of lords, so they're going to have a lot of lords. Oh, lordy lord. They are scaven no, so the first level of deliverance of Itza should be quite good. The reinforcements are coming in from here. Right. Can't really spread out more than that yet. Yeah. Croak right here. If I can clump them into one little tiny bit. Oh, this might be OP with Lord Croak's ability. Right, I want you to uh, start the battle. If we can keep them clumped right in. If we can keep them clumped into this area here. Just imagine how good my shield can be too. Oh Lord Croak! Oh Lord Croak! All the kills we're gonna get! With that one spell, you've already got 200! Ah, but their warp lightnings are gonna be devastating as well. the number of units that are already thinking about running. Should 
Should we try a bigger one? Nah, nah, we'll get the more bang for buck just casting this one over and over. How many kills has he got? Oh, look at all those kills! And the units are just running straight off. Four hundred and sixty two kills. We can get armor, but they don't have armor. I want to try the bigger one. I want to try it. Use that of ammo. Right, come on around. Oh, here come them. I need to break this lot first, and if I get them to run... Because as soon as they start running... You're not too good in melee, so let's... Wish. I'm so glad I got the two upgrades for the spell. Look at the kills on Lord Grob! 742! And if you include the units, he's routed and have ran straight off as well. Holy moly! Lord Croak's killed to be almost half the enemies on his own. Let's get a shield on the go down here. And then the shield ability, take that into account too. Oh Lord Croak! Marry me! Oh, you can see, I never noticed that before. You can see when he's casting the spells, it channels the Alive Him version above him. 985 kills. Oh, look, and they're running straight off. They're not coming back. Right, the biggest clump I can see is right there now, I think. Where's the biggest clump of them? Oh, I think it's there. Where's Gorok himself? He's here. You know, go after those poisoned wind ears. Thousand and sixty-eight kills! I'm not too bothered if you use your lightning on my skinks. Holy sweet moly pie. Lord Croak. You badass. I suppose you do have your mace. Low threat, let's charge into combat. Let's see what a zombie cr frog looks like when he's attacking. How many kills you got, mister? They're 78 on Gorok. Oh, look at this! There's a live version of him again jumping out. That's quite cool. Just sort of using that to cast spells and attack. But he's meant to terrify and fear them as well, isn't he? Did they run? The Globadiers, no, they're still there. Let's cast my shield over there again, because those units really need it. Whereas over here, we're just tearing them a new backside. Yes, they're running. Oh no, they're running away though, because we were saved it. Oh wait, no, they're not running yet. Oh, oh we're going to get another deliverance of it, sir. I think we will cast it there now. Oh, they're thinking about running. Their whole army's thinking about running. No, my spell! Does it hurt me? Let's find out. It doesn't hurt me. Oh, but I feel kind of annoyed at that wasted last spell. <sighs> oh! 
Oh Lord, croak! Like the numbers don't even fit on. Oh Lord, croak! The first tier of that spell is really good against low level Skaven. I wonder if the second spell is, would have been worth using at all, just because it's larger. I really wanted to try it out, but I'd seen how much it cost. And because I've got the two reduction, I could spam three of the lower level one for one of the biggers. So, uh, maybe if I had two points off the bigger one as well. But then, even then, yeah. A thousand monies. Lots of experience. Let's take the replenishment just to make sure. Skaven revealed, Clan Fester. Trait gained the Exterminator! Free leadership when fighting Skaven. Lovely. Surprise Lord Croak didn't get a rank up from that. And it still thinks this is pretty even. Let me take a quick save. Perfect victory. I'm fine with that. Oh, I'm forgetting these units. Ah, oh, that is actually a wee bit annoying. I'll live with it though. Because I'm thinking in Three Kingdoms sense, like, oh, these units just come back. I don't have to re recruit them. And I'm right, wait a minute. I mean, still, I'm so much. I've been playing that much Three Kingdoms, and I've not really played Total War Warhammer since it came out. So it's. kind of throwing me. Gorok has a ranking up, though. Let's get him the last point in skirmishers. And we can see here, where are we? And we've got the skiing recruitment one now, brilliant. So we can recruit some skinks, all our skinks. And we only got rid of the unshielded one, so that's quite good. And we can just free units of the shield. Then we can get some skinks. That's for there. We've got the money. Yeah, we've got the money for that now. And we've got the edict. Income and growth. Winds of magic, research rate. I think we want income and growth in public order. Income, growth in public order. Are we going to have to deal with a rebellion, though? At least we're probably going to have to deal with a rebellion. We'll see if we can get it so we don't have to. It will always come at Itza. Is this guy just going to suicide into me now? Yeah, I thought he was going to... That's quite a bit of money for a suicided army. Right. Clan Fester has been annihilated. We get ten ancient planks, two thousand treasury. Forgetting we're in this race. Mission issued. Faction destroyed. Trade green strict. One public order. Follower gained. About time Lord Croak had an extra level. Now, the shield of the old ones was quite good. So what does upgrading it do? Negative to the cooldown. Negative to the cooldown. I would like to get that. That's our resistance. Oh, just ever I want everything for Lord Croak. Here's his casualty replenishment. Untainted public order. 
I really want to try the deliverance of it, sir. Oh yeah, this is the one that's 16. Yeah, so we still could only got two of this off. I want to get this down to nine. If I get that down to... Oh, I want everything! Lord Croak, just level up to 20 instantly. Let's start upgrading that. We can see the public order. Here it is. What? Negative three. But as soon as I start heading back, it's going to change drastically. Negative six. They're not going to be able to attack straight away. That will give me quite a powerful little army here. Start building the defences there. Yeah, I know about it. That's fine. In turn. There's the little rebellion army. Which is basically just going to be free money and free experience for my main army. It's a happy days for that. Speed this up. Okay, blood sacrifice. Sacrifice them. Fourteen. Yeah. Spirit of the jungle. Let them be. Attend diplomatic relations. You know what? We'll take the relations. I don't think we need them. They're raiding, which is annoying. Technology done. Brilliant. This gives us five melee defense for her. Oh, that's lovely. Ten weapons straight for Sora's units. Oh, giddy and giddy. Unfortunately, it's going to be a couple of turns so we can reach them. Just getting on a couple of skinks in there. Let's take these two, or we we'll give one the boot the now because we're recruiting thingy. And uh, recruit units. Where should we go next? There was a... Uh... I don't really want to go to war with them to take that from them. Or here. We may go to war with the Skaven that are here. Get this wood. But that's going to bring us close to the... These guys. We may end up going to war with them soon. But yeah. These two I think will be our next goal. These two here. Give us the coastline. And my army's heading this way anyway. It'll give us another source of wood, then exotic creatures. And I'm pretty sure there's a tablet thing just to the south of here. Which will be Pestilence first port call. And we may wipe out the vampire coasts pretty soon as well, because... Last thing I need is their corruption seeping into my lands. Issued, altered the horned rat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one I was on about. I really wish I had movement speed on this guy. That's what we didn't go for first. We should always go for first is Root Marcher. Oh, I would have been able to attack him by now if I'd got Root Marcher because a couple of turns I've been moving, that would have easily been in this movement range. I'm now going to have to fight a pretty nasty army. I don't know what kind of money I can just throw into rights. Red Crest of Skink, Skink Chief, Skink Skirmishers. Two turns to get that. Right. End turn. If he attacks at this turn, I'm in a wee bit of bother. I can't believe how long it's taken for me just to get over here.
Speed things up. Look at a little race car going around the track. Ah, wait, brilliant! Ancient skills. Construction, take for all buildings. Construction. God, taking for all buildings. Use the wisdom. Save me a wee bit of money. Capture 250 cows. Free blessed chameleon skinks. Nice. There we go. Because we've got the reinforcement army here with the temple guard, that makes this a simple, easy. All resolve. And that is a lot of money. Enemy killed in battle. Successful. Happy days. Now we'll get Root Marcher. I'd forgotten all about that. That should always be your go to first skill. Rank 7 already. Upgrade our wood supply. Upgrade our lookouts. And let's start heading over this way. I'm pretty sure there's some scaven here. As for this guy, get rid of this unit. Less spawnings. I can see I've got the chameleon skinks. Entrance are now. Let's go for the second unit of those spearmen. I think we're all good. We'll do one more turn and we'll call it apart, probably. Unless the turn goes really fast. The end turns in Total War Warhammer 2 are a lot longer than they are in Three Kingdoms. I really like Lord Croak and Lord, uh, Lord Gorok. Gorok getting all these skills really fast. Recruit a hero. Severe. Ooh, very nice. Recruit a hero. Well, we could use a mage for this army. Uh, skink chief, skink priest. No, we can't get a skink priest. No, I'm not recruiting a hero at the moment. Get this to level 3. Is there anything else we need? Not right now. Alright, well, do another turn then. Because there wasn't a hundred way to do that turn. I'm gonna have to watch men come. I'm only a thousand a turn. But as soon as I get those that gold mine up. Just maybe start capturing these bits here. My money should go quite a bit higher. I do have quite a large army here. It's quite expensive. I do have a second army already on the go. All adds up, especially in this game. Follower gained. Happy days. Lord Crook. Right. I'd really like to upgrade that. Let's get the upgrade for that shield. We'll move right up to the border this turn. Oh look, an agent! It's not an army. This is Clan Skarier. Oh, my favourite clan! My favourite clan! Oh yeah, Clan Skarier start here, don't they? And the Vampire Coast start up there. So the Clan Skarier already own this. I forgot about Clan Skarier. I was doing them as a Let's Play and I think I kind of just forgot about them. <laughs> this guy up here has had his first... I keep doing that! Too much thingy for me. Root Marcher, done. Didn't forget about it this time. Turn. If 
faction encountered can land pestilence. Yeah, oh. There's lots of skaven everywhere. Defensive alliance they want. But they're just going to pull me into their wars. Uh, I'm going to decline for now because it's just going to get me pulled into wars. I'm going to go to war with Clan Skiraya anyway. I don't want to go to war with the Vampire Coast just yet. And I can see they've taken the bit just north of me. Ooh, lovely. War babies ensure more Saurus responds. Do not paint you. Hmm. I doubt I'm going to be recruiting much, but if I do, it'll probably be more Saurus. And they're more expensive in the first place, so. Three turns to that stand. Right. And then I'm there. Let's go to this. Clan Skyrier. Play war. Oh, it's Clan Ashen. Ah, so Skyrier haven't even taken it yet. Clan Spell. The what? It's not Clan Ashen. It's Clan Spell. I'm so confused. Or was that their allies? Right, so we can see they do have stuff. So we're gonna have to continue siege for a wee bit. Hopefully they'll come out and attack me. But we shall call this a part here and now. I hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time. Bye, bye.